Hello everybody, this is me Jones MJ here. A lot of people who have seen a lot of my gaming videos have been asking me how I installed the homebrew channel on my Nintendo Wii in order to play Wii games online, use Wii Connect 24, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So I figured in this video I am going to show all of you guys how to install the homebrew channel on your Nintendo Wii. This is working as of 2020 and I can't imagine that it won't, this method won't stop working anytime soon. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this tutorial, you are going to need a Nintendo Wii and an SD card. The SD card I recommend be at least 2GB and you also will need a computer obviously to download the letter bomb exploit that we will be using in today's video. As a side note, this only works on the Nintendo Wii not the Wii U, so this method will not work on the Wii U. If you guys want me to make a tutorial for Wii U, let me know down in the comments below. Alrighty, so once you have your SD card inserted into your computer, it is now time to go ahead and install the homebrew channel. So let's go ahead and go to the Little Bomb website, which is please.hackme.com. I'll have a link to this in the description. And this is the name of the exploit that we are going to use to install the homebrew channel on our Wii. As a little side note, this exploit does not work for Wii U, so if you're trying to follow this tutorial for Wii U, this will not work. You have to use a different exploit, which I will have in a different video for uh, homebrew for Wii U once I uh, make that video so yeah so what you need to do on here is first select your system menu version which um, basically is just co corresponds with whatever country you're in so 4.3.u is obviously for the United States um, E I believe is for Europe, J I believe is for Japan and I don't know what K is for off the top of my head but I think it's Korea maybe that's the only thing I can think of but yeah then the next thing to do is to go ahead and type in your Wii's Mac address which, um, to get your Mac address from your Nintendo Wii, you just need to go ahead and turn it on and obviously get through this warning screen real quick. And then once you are on your main menu, you need to click at the bottom left where it says Wii. So, uh, let me go ahead and do that right now. And then when we are here, click on Wii settings. Then just wait for this to load. Then just go over one tab and then tap on internet or click on internet whatever you want to call it and then do console information and then as you can see your mac address will appear right there so that is how you get your mac address so once you have typed in your wii's mac address um you can you can go ahead and leave this checked obviously do the whole i'm not a robot thing and it doesn't matter which one of these you click just click one of them they both do the same thing as you can see it's asking you to save something to your desktop so as you can see right here here is a little zip file right here um, so as you can see right here, this is the zip file we just downloaded, letterbomb.zip. Let's go ahead and unzip it. And as you can see in here, it pretty much just has a bunch of random content. So let's just go ahead and, uh, open up our SD card that we are going to be using for our Wii and just copy all this over to the SD card. Just like that. So, uh, so now that you have this installed, it is now time to go ahead and put the SD card back into the Wii to install the homebrew channel. So let's go ahead and eject our SD card and do that. So let's go ahead and take our SD card, go ahead and put it right back into your Nintendo Wii, like so. Alrighty guys, so once you put your SD card back into your Wii, go ahead and turn on your Wii. And right here we are on the home menu, so once you're on the home menu this time, you're going to click on the Wii message board. And normally, if you go back a couple of days, you'll see the little letter bomb file, which I'm about to show you. But I, because I have already installed Homebrew Channel, which I installed actually quite a bit ago, back in, uh, I think, May of 2017, so... Uh, I need to go back quite a bit, but basically, if you if this is your first time installing Homebrew Channel, you should see this file that I'm about to show you. It may be either on the same day or maybe a day or two before, or you might have to search a little bit on your calendar, but usually it's pretty close to the current day. But because I installed Homebrew Channel, yep, May, May 11th right here, this is when I installed it. So this is the file that you should be looking for. Once you find it, we're going to go ahead and run it. So once you run the file, you will see a bunch of this like text pop up like a command prompt. And I know this might look pretty sketchy, but do not worry guys, I promise this is 100% safe. So once that little command prompt runs, you should see uh, this little notice that just says you can't, you simply just can't sell the uh, software. And it just go ahead and give this a couple of seconds. And as you can see, after a couple of seconds, it'll say press 1 to continue. So on your Wii remote, we are going to go ahead and press 1 to continue. 
So once we press 1, as you can see we will now be on this menu and this time you're going to be navigating using your arrow control pad and the A button. So as you can see right here it says that it's about to install the homebrew channel so we are going to go ahead and press A on our Wii remote to continue. Then once we do that we'll be on this menu, you're going to go ahead and scroll up using your arrow key up to install homebrew channel and then we're going to press A. Then we're going to press yes, continue, and this will go ahead and install the homebrew channel on your Wii. So just go ahead and wait for this to install. It should say success, hit continue, and then we can scroll all the way down and say exit. And as you can see, if you ever want to uninstall the homebrew channel, you would have just scrolled back up and said uninstall homebrew channel. So if you ever want to uninstall the homebrew channel for whatever reason, just go ahead and go back to the, the letter bomb file and just hit uninstall homebrew channel. So as you can see, after you do that, it automatically will stop the homebrew channel. And as you can see, there is nothing on here because we haven't put installed any apps yet. But in this video, I am just going to be showing you how to install the homebrew channel. So if you guys want to see how to install some different apps that you can use, one app is WeMFI, which I actually made a tutorial on all the way back in 2017. Um, so, and I also am going to eventually be making more tutorials that use the homebrew channel as well. And as you can see, once we press home, you can also exit to the system menu, and then I'll take you back to your normal Wii menu. And yeah, guys, that is how you install the homebrew channel on your Nintendo Wii. Overall, it's a pretty simple process. So yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe so you do not miss my next video. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!